realairculture.com's coverage of Canada's Farm Progress Show in Regina, Saskatchewan is brought to you by Morris. We hear you. So, what's, what's the story behind the bio baler? The bio baler was developed uh, in response to a need to find out how to renovate uh, willows and willow rings in the natural environment. Um, traditionally in the past we've had buffalo, we've had wildfire, but in the ways that we've populated the lands and, and we farm now, that doesn't happen anymore. So uh, we, we felt that you know there was a renovation issue and, and you know there had to be another another way that we could deal with uh, the, the trees that we were going to take off of them. And, and for us it was just a matter of looking at, at heat, you know, uh, and that's what we plan on, on doing with it for now. It's just uh, using the biomass for heating. So how does it work? Basically, it's, it's a traditional round baler uh, with uh, drums inside instead of bands, and it uh, cuts the, the trees off at just above the ground level, uh, bales them in small pieces, and we're just using regular uh, baler twine. Uh, right now we're running 28,000 through the system. Um, and it uh, spits out a regular round bale, which we dry for a year and then process. So how do you um, how do you process? We process it using uh, a basic regular uh, uh, bale grinder. Uh, takes it down into small shreds, uh, which is perfect for feeding through our our bio burner system. So to utilize this, do you have to have the the bio burner system on the other end of it, or can you bale this and use it for? For some other kind of yeah, you can bale it and do whatever you want with it. You know, uh, uh, we've seen ovens out there where you can actually burn round bales, and I'm sure you could probably do this the same way. Uh, we've just chosen to use uh, an environmentally friendly uh, burner, uh, and it, it can run up to, I believe, 95 to 97 percent efficiency. So, where's this in, in use right now? Right now we're using it to, to heat greenhouses and office complexes at uh, the Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada Centre in Indian Head, Saskatchewan. 